Hello, my name is Alejandro Javier Polino, and I'm a neurology resident, and I'm on the panel with Zabraltar Medical, an organization dedicated to building communities. What is neurology? And since I'm a resident in neurology, I can help out with that. So neurology is a field of medicine that has to do with treating disorders of the brain, the spine, and the nerves. Um, essentially, we treat stroke, epilepsy, dementia, movement disorders like Parkinson's disease. So why I chose this field of neurology. So um, I've always been interested in mental health and I majored in psychology in uh, college. In college, I knew I wanted to do psychiatry because I wanted to use medications to help people with you know, challenges in the mental health arena. So when I got to medical school and I did my psychiatry rotation, I loved it. The only thing that was on my mind though was the day-to-day -day of the psychiatry field. I preferred to do more hands-on work in the clinic, for example, physical exams to help aid in the diagnosis and treatment of my patients. So that's where I started to put my eyes on neurology because neurology actually has a lot of psychiatry in it, specifically dementia, behavioral disturbances and Parkinson's disease. So it has that psychiatry component, but it's also more hands-on. There's a comprehensive neurological exam that really aids in the assessment and plan. Um, and it's awesome that you can do this exam and even before you do a blood test or do imaging, you have a pretty good idea of where in the body a problem might be arising. So now I'll be talking about neurology as a field and in terms of what to expect with residency. So with other, as with all the medical fields, you'll have four years of medical school and then you'll apply to neurology residency, which is also four years. And the first year is entirely internal medicine, which will give you the foundation you need for all that'll come in the next three years, which is entirely uh, neurology. And in terms of the fields, one of the things that it's great about neurology is it's very vast and um, different environments of whatever you're most comfortable with you can do. For example, if you want to stay in the hospitalist, either on the general wards or in the neuro ICU, you can do um, critical care fellowship, which is typically two years. You can do a uh, stroke, um, but also if you prefer outpatient experiences, you can also do fellowships in epilepsy, which is one to two years, or uh, movement disorders, also one to two years. Um, so it's very vast, and depending on what you what setting you prefer, there's definitely a choice um, in neurology. And as I'm sure some of you are wanting to know, in terms of the actual compensation for physicians that are in neurology, so the average salary of a neurologist in the United States is 290000 per year. Um, obviously, when you're first starting out, this will be lower, and also the salary depends on what setting you're in. So academic centers tend to be on the lower end, probably around two hundred. But if you go directly into private practice, you could easily do 300 starting or more. Also, it depends on where you live in the country. Um, obviously, the more rural areas, since there's less physicians around, there's more opportunity to have um, larger salary. In academic and uh, big cities, the price will be lower. So it, it just all depends. But again, it's, if the setting is important to you, you can find something that fits, fits your needs for sure. So. In terms of uh, who would actually be interested in this field, if you are interested in the brain, if you're interested in the anatomy of the brain and the spinal cord and, you know, just have a fascination with consciousness or, or just uh, interesting, what I find interesting, some disorders like seizures or stroke, um, then neurology is definitely the field for you. If you enjoy patient interactions, if you enjoy doing physical exams, also neurology has plenty of that. Um, and, and yeah, I think if, if neurology is an interest of yours, there's plenty of neurology to go around and it's definitely a field that's gonna blow up in the next couple of years. In terms of the future of the field of neurology, so the baby boomers are getting old and what that means is that a very large section of our population in the United States, in the United States will start to have more neurological problems as most people do when they start getting older. So there's gonna be a very high demand for neuro neurological services in the future, which is good news for job security and all that. Um, and as 
you know, things advance, you know, it's also a rapidly advancing field in terms of research and technology. You know, we really don't know everything about the brain, barely anything really. So there's a lot of room for improvement, a lot of room for research. So it's just an exciting field. And lastly, a message for anyone who's interested in the medical field, but you know, you, you haven't seen that representation, you know, you go to the doctor's office, you don't see many physicians of color. I want to say that that should not discourage you at all. You can do it. If you set your mind to it, you can do it no matter who you are, no matter where you come from, you can become a doctor in this country. Just with hard work and determination, you can do it. And I'm really glad I did. Even if I didn't have all the resources, you know, it is all about determination and no matter who you are, you can do it.